All right, so the pen tool, uh, it, if you don't remember from yesterday, it is located on your tools bar. It is over here on the far left, just above your type tool or your text tool. A little guy that looks like the old school fountain pen. Uh, we're going to go ahead and today we're going to work with lines, creating lines. So we want to make sure for the settings for your pen tool uh, is set so that you don't have a fill. So if you look in the upper part of your screen, make, first of all, make sure that it is set to shape. Remember, there's two settings there. There is both shape and path. You want to make sure that this is set to shape. You want to set the fill so that it, there is no fill, so no fill, meaning there's a white box with a red line saying no fill. And then your stroke, make sure your stroke is visible. Um, black and gray, probably not the best color. I would just choose a different color, something that's a little more colorful. Uh, and then as far as the width of that, uh, anywhere between 5 and 10 will work. Yes. Sorry? Sorry? We'll just right now we're just selecting the pen tool and then like just hang in there I'm gonna get you there okay all right so ready review this is just review right this is just review okay so the pen tool right if you're watching my screen again the pen tool is over here on the far left hand side of your screen you have to select it right once it's selected then you can select shape or path in this instance we're going to do shape no fill and stroke okay now what we learned from yesterday is that with the pen tool selected to create a simple shape the simplest of shapes being a line we need at least two points so every time we click we create an actual point right so there's my first point there's my second point and there I get the line and if I continue to click I continue to create points and that shape starts to take place if we come back to the original point, this will allow us to create that shape. Of course, if we had a fill in there, then it would obviously fill, but we don't want to fill for today. We also learned that uh, we can create curves. So once we click and click and drag our mouse, we can also create curves. Okay, so just by clicking and dragging your mouse, you can create those curves. Now, how do those curves work, right? Like that's 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 where this tool gets really frustrating, right? What I call the clickety-click method, right? Like if, well, I can make a curve. I just click, 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 right? Sure, like yes, but that's your, your, your graphics aren't going to look very good, okay? So the pen tool allows us to create these natural, nice, smooth curves. How does it work? Well, in the first click, the direction that you pull your mouse is the direction in which the curve will start, right? So if I want that curve to go up, if you're watching my screen, I'm going to click, I'm going to drag up. Remember, you can hold the shift button that will lock you in the 45 degree increments, but I'm dragging up. That's going to tell the curve to start in an upward direction. I'm going to release my mouse. Okay. Now, the next time I click, it will, it will bring that line in an upward curve. There it is. Right. However, if I click and drag, I can now continue that curve. Okay, I'm going to release my mouse. There it is. Now, the next click after you start the curve will always be will always add to that curve. Right. So if I click here, I created a curve. It continued that curve, and now I'm back to straight lines. Okay. If I click and drag my mouse, remember I've continued that curve, my next click will be a curve or a straight line. Curve, because I started that curve. You know, I drug my mouse, so I start I continued that curve, so that curve will continue. If I just click, I'm back to straight lines. Okay, so that's that's where the pen tool can get rather frustrating um, because you know you're trying to curve things and it doesn't go the way that you want to. So the next series of documents are going to help you with that practice, right? So we're going to start with this document. Everybody should have this document here. So this is a document that you should have open. And we're just going to, you can follow the instructions on the document, or you could just follow along with me. It's probably easier if you follow along with me. One, the text is a little blurry, kind of hard to read. Um, so I am going to zoom into this area just so that way you guys can see it a little bit better. So just creating simple lines, right? Like well, this is, for the most part, a lot of review. 
but with practice, right? So each one of these little squares are points. So I'm going to click, click, and click. Okay. That creates a simple line. If I hold the Alt key, you'll see that I get this little V. This allows me to terminate that point. So whether, and I'll, I'll, I'll go back here to show you this, right? So create a curve, create a curve. My next click will be a curve, right? Yes. However, if I want to terminate that point, I can hit Alt. I can click on that point. Notice that the little wing goes away. And now I'm back to a straight line. Okay. So again, click to create the curve. My next click will be a curve. However, if I don't want that curve, I hold the Alt key. That gives me the little upside down V. I can click to terminate that. Now my next click is a straight line. Right. I'll hit enter to accept that or or you can hit control click and that will also accept those changes all right next item creating a closed shape again we did this yesterday so this is review right click to create your shape and then when I click on the original point where I started I'll get that little circle when I click there it will complete that shape Do that again in case you didn't catch it, right? So click, 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 click. There's my original point. When I click back on my original point, I get the little circle. That will close that shape. Hit enter to accept. Adding points. While you're creating a shape, and for whatever reason you need to add a point if you bring your cursor over the path and it's kind of hard to see on my screen from where you guys are sitting but the little line there is the path that's creating that shape if i click on it it will add another point or an anchor point and then i can i can do some other things with that if you remember from yesterday we talked about the direct selection and path selection tool All right so if i go to that white arrow the direct selection tool shortcut a All right so if i go to a i can click and move these points around All right so because i added that point i can now do something else with it if i want to i can even grab these little wings and move them around as well okay so adding a point is as simple as clicking on the path line itself. Enter to accept. Subtracting points. So by clicking on the line, it allows me to add a uh, an anchor point. By clicking on an anchor point, it allows me to subtract from that anchor point. So again, adding Right. Adding a point, I click on the line. Subtracting a point, I click on the anchor point. It will go away. All right, creating the next shape. Enter to accept that. So the direct selection tool, right, that little white arrow, you can either press A, that will bring it up, or if you're wanting to continue with creating your shape, right? We're wanting to continue creating a shape, but we want to move some points around. Maybe we made an error, we want to fix some things. If you hold down the control key, it will momentarily bring that direct selection tool up. So just by holding the control key, you'll see that your cursor changes to the white arrow. And now you can move these points around as you need to. Okay. Or, again, you can subtract points. Okay, so again, holding down the control key will bring that white arrow up and you can now move your points around. And then enter to accept.
All right, back to the top of the document. So again, curves, right? We just went over curves. So we'll start with a single point here, right? Single point. Now we'll click. We want that curve to go to the left with my second click. So which direction am I going to drag my mouse? Curve goes to the left. We drag to the right. Thank you. There it goes. I mean, you're, you're going to figure it out, right? Like if I click and drag to the left, oop, nope, I don't want to go that way. So I'll drag it back over this way. Okay. If I click, it will continue that path, but we want to move that curve to the left. So we drag to the right. If I click again, it's going to continue that curve. And again, we want to move that curve up. So we're going to pull down. There you go. Enter to accept. Okay. That direct selection tool, the white arrow, not only can it move points, but it can also move those those little anchor, uh, those little wings. I call them wings. I'm, I'm sure there's a better name for it. But those little circles, we can pull those guys to affect our arc. So I'm going to create my shape here. Right, it's not quite the arc I'm looking for, so I'll hold the control button down, and I can pull those wings up just a little bit. Right, so I can. Not only can I move anchor points, but I can also affect the curves by grabbing those little wings. Enter to accept. All right, I can also convert curves To corners and corners to curves okay so if I create this curve here and I want to oh nope I want this to be a straight line no big deal I'm gonna hold down the alt key I'm gonna click on that middle anchor point that will convert it to a curve or excuse me to a uh, corner or straight lines I should say I'll show you that again Hold down the alt key i get the little v right this is the little symbol that you should get the little v i'm going to click on that anchor point and it will convert it to straight lines or corners same is true with straight lines if i want to convert this to a curve i'm going to hold down the alt key there's my v now i'm just going to click and drag to create a curve Okay. So again, the Alt key will allow you to convert curves to, to straights. And straights. Oops. Straights to curves. Or vice versa. All right. We'll stop there. We're not going to we're not going to uh, do these next. These next two don't work very well. Uh, this is just an older document. So, all right, curves template. So again, this is just to build up that muscle memory, right? So this is the next document that we're working with: curves, drawing curves. Just trying to help you guys build up that muscle memory, understanding what direction are these lines going to move when you start clicking and dragging. Okay, this is this is huge. This is a really really big part of what we're going to be working on here together here soon. So it's very important that you guys build up these skills. All right. So in this instance here, it's asking us to click and drag. So I'm going to click and drag here to get that curve started up. Right. We want that curve to go up. And I'm going to click and drag down because again we want that second point to go up. And then again I'm going to click and then drag up and away. There we go. Enter to accept. Okay, and you'll continue to do this. So for this one here, ready? Right, we're going to click and drag up. Remember, we can hold shift to lock that down in 45 degree increments. So shift 
I'm going to click and drag up, click and drag down, click and drag up, click and drag down. Ooh. What happened there? There we go. Okay, and then this one, I'm not quite dragging straight up. I'm kind of dragging off into uh, off into an angle, like about 30 degrees, something along those lines. All right, so click and dragging up to get that arc moving upwards. Now I want it to continue to drag up. So with my second click, I drag down, dragging up, diagonally up, diagonally down, diagonally up, diagonally down. Okay. And to, to grab those curves that are real, that are pinching, right, I'm going to drag outward, so up and out. Pulling it down and in, down and out, up and out, down and in, up and out, down and in. Now, the last one kind of pulls in what we were just talking about, how when we start the curve, the curve will finish itself, right? So here I'm going to start here. I'm going to click and drag up to get that arc moving in that upward direction. If I, if I just, wait, that was weird. Try that again. Click and drag. Click and drag up to get that arc started up in the upward direction. If I just simply click, it's going to create that arc, right? It creates it for me, right? It, I started it. My next click will finish it. But in this instance, I want to I want to control this arc a little bit more. So I need I need this to go upward a little bit more. So I'm going to pull down and out, right? So I've continued this curve, and again, right? If I click anywhere, it's going to continue that curve. Okay. But in this instance, I want to go ahead and close the shape. So I'm just going to click where I started. There we go, it closes that shape in. Bless you. All right, for the next two documents, go ahead and practice yourself, All right? Follow the instructions, All right? Go slow, it's not gonna be easy at first, okay? Especially when you get to this image here, these images, right? You're trying to create this graphic, right, which would, would be a vector art, piece of vector art, right? And to do that, you need to create the different shapes. So this would be obviously the pot, right? Uh, you're going to start, I would start, it says A. I guess you're going to start at A. I, I like starting at C personally, but I guess you start with A. All right, so we're going to click and drag down. Click there. Click there. Click there. Click there. However, we have to move this, so holding the Alt key, drag that guy there. Yeah, it gets a little hairy. <laughs> That's why I like starting at C. Um, It's a lot easier if you start with C. There you go. So practice, 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 practice. The, the only way that you're going to get good at this and, and be comfortable using this tool is if you practice with it. Okay. You, you, when we get into the next, in, in about a week or so, when we start this project together, we're going to do one together. Um, if you don't have a good command of the pen tool, you're, you're going to struggle. You're, you're not going to be able to make those type of edits that we need you to be able to make. So please, please, please practice, practice using the pen tool.